Hey guys, I'm back today and I'm doing my favorite topic. So if you guys know my channel and know me, you probably would know that my favorite topic is what's in my bag kind of things. And, um, sorry, my phone is going off. So, um, okay, but I do love to do vlogs. I love it, but it's just, I haven't like had such a, like, had a super exciting life lately. I guess I have like, I don't know. I just haven't vlogged a lot lately. I'm going to spit on myself. Anyway. I thought this was a perfect time to do a what's in my bag because literally, let me show you guys my bag. I have not cleaned it out because I have been so ridiculously busy. You're going to laugh. Okay, you're going to laugh. This is my bag. Okay, so when I when I see this, like if, okay, if I was watching YouTube and I saw someone with like a bag like this, I'd be like, oh my god, I'm dying to see what's in her bag. I don't know why. You guys know, like, if you're like me, you like, you either love what's in your bags, look at the it's so cute, or you hate what's in my bags. Anyway. I love them. This is my bag. It's the Balenciaga, and um, I don't know the name of it. You guys know I'm like, retarded with that, where I don't know names about bags. I just know the brand. I'm not good at that. You guys probably know, though, and I think you might have brought it up. I'll try to find the link, because I'm telling you guys the truth. I am loving this bag. So if you've been looking for a work bag or... Uh, thank you so much, ba... She just knocked... Shelby. Now you're going to say hi to everyone because you were bad. Say hi, Mr. Shell. You don't you? He a little bit looks like a small fish. He looks like a small fish bunny. Okay. Go away. You're mischievous. All right. Now there's hair everywhere. Ugh, it's freaking vacuumed. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Probably like a hair all over my face now. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so... I think I was thinking about the Balenciaga. If you were looking for a professional kind of bag, I would say to maybe stick to this one. Like I described in my last video about it, I'm sorry, there's hair flying everywhere now. That's gross. Um, I like it because it's not deep, it's wide. Uh, can you guys see the hair flying? I can, that's disgusting. Um, so it's easy to use. It's not like a deep hole, you know what I mean? Like a big black hole. So yeah, um, anyway, uh, uh, so I love the bag. Okay, let's just move on um, because I have so much to get through. I feel like this might be close to like 40 minute video. I don't know, I hope, because I just t tend to ramble. Um, let's go over my hair. I cut my hair, yeah, I just had my mom just like, I went to visit my parents last weekend or I think week, two weeks ago, and I just had that her mom, my mom just like cut it. Not like trying to diss any hairstylists out there at all, but, or like, you know, saying you guys don't know what you're doing. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is if you guys just want like a blunt cut, like have your friend or your mom just like cut bottom of your hair. It's that easy. Like I, my mom just cut the back and then she brought it towards the front and just made sure it was even. And that was it. It's like so simple. Um, I just don't have like time to go like try to find someone to cut my hair. I feel like in LA, everyone is so expensive. Like yeah, okay, I get, I get it, like, they, it's worth it or whatever, but I just, like, sometimes it's like, oh my gosh, like, $400 for a haircut, I'm not just seeing like, a hairstylist, I get it, like, you got, it, you get what you pay for, um, it's just so expensive, it's like, for a, hair, a haircut, I don't know, so I was like, can you just cut my hair, anyway, to my mom, okay, let's go, eyes, I'm just wearing a little bit of brown eyeshadow to give myself a little bit of, like, a high, like, a deep set eye, I'm just wearing that MAC Lazy Sunday right here. I'm not wearing anything on my lips right now because I got a lip gloss that's in my bag I wanted to share with you guys, and I think it's good. You guys know I'm really picky about everything, but I had high hopes for this, and I'm liking it so far. Um, my shirt is from Iro, and I got it in a large. I'll try to find the link, too. It's very big. It's long. I probably could have gotten a medium, but I love to wear oversized things. Um... It's like when something hits the side of me and hits my sides, I don't, I don't like it because I think it stands for my used to be like big, like no matter what I wore, things would touch me everywhere, like clothes. And I just like to feel loose clothes. I just, I think it's sexy in a weird way and in like a non-fuss way. I just love the oversizedness of it. Plus I have big shoulders, so I don't know. I like it. <laughs> I don't know why I went to that. Okay, how long is, I'm already like, it's already long. All right. Next is my necklaces, and these are my two new designs, and I love them a lot, a lot, a lot, and okay, so you guys know I'm all about the chokers, and I was like, okay, I love, you guys know I love to wear crystals with chains, like that's my thing, I've had my line for six years, that's what it's all based on, mixing and matching crystals and chains, so I wanted to add something like 
crystally to my chokers and I love this. This is Swarovski. Let me scoot in so you guys can see. Move my move my coffee even though Shao better not come over and knock it over again. Um, it's just a line, it's a seamless line all the way around to the back and a clasp and then I'm, I'm adding um, HRH tags for authenticity on all my, on most of my things, I'd say 90% of my things now are getting um, HRH authenticity tags um, so that you guys know they're HRH, original designs, um, and yeah, so almost seamless but not completely to the back. Anyway, I just made this yesterday and I think it's a little bit too big on me. I'm gonna make it about a quarter inch shorter so if you guys see it falling, it's because a little bit big. I want to wear it up here so it needs to be a little bit shorter but I think it's staying here because it's a little bit too big. I made it, I made it too big. This is, this is the prototype. Bow. Now, now Bow's here trying to knock over my thing. Rat. Okay. Then this is my new collarbone like snake, thick snake chain. I love these two together so much. I just love this hard rocker like edge um, with this really pretty like almost princess, um, almost, I don't know, it's very just almost like, like an old classic Hollywood, I feel like. I just love it. It's so delicate and all sparkles, all Swarovski crystals. I think it's gorgeous. Um, it just really sparkles. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's gorgeous. Okay. I'm um, wearing my metallic cocoa, which I always wear. You guys know that. And then this is my watch I bought myself for my birthday. And um, this is just a simple chain that I'm using right now. And I just like, I'm kind of loving it. It's a new chain that I'm trying out. And I'm going to make a trio, like a semi-chunky semi trio that would be like really cool to mix and match everything. But I'm just trying out chains before I do that. And this is one of them. And I'm loving it. It's almost like a Tiffany silver color, which I think is really pretty. Okay, moving on. Um, I have gotten a lot of requests to share pieces with you guys so you can see them in the videos because it's hard to tell on pictures. 100% agree. I just don't want to spend the entire video talking about my jewelry because I could literally talk about my jewelry all day and then I forget and it's been like 15 minutes of me talking about jewelry because I just love it so much. I love my line. You guys know that. But I'm going to do it because I get so many requests to do videos um, about the, the line itself but I just want it to be more like relaxed. Okay, I have two more things to show you guys as far as chokers, um, kind of chokers. Anyway, Orion's belt. A lot of you guys purchased my Orion's belt um, for my 31st birthday. It's my last birthday. I turned 31. I did like a sale or mini like a, a flash offer. The um, Orion's belt, I offered it and I introduced it on that day in a gold and a silver. Well, now I'm offering it in a rose gold and a hematite gunmetal. Gorgeous, gorgeous. If you guys have these, you know what I mean by the sparkle. I wear them all the time and the gold and silver and now I'm offering them in gunmetal and rose gold and they literally sparkle like tiny little like stars in the sky. I love them. So you can layer them, you can wear them, you know, alone and they hit just about where this one hits and it just gives like, see that sparkle? It just gives like the perfect amount of sparkle and now I have them in two new colors so they'll be online. And I wanted to show you guys those. Just really pretty delicate. And you guys know I'm all about layering. Like everything, my line has always been about stacking and layering and not thinking about mix, matching and mixing and matching everything without thinking. And that's these are perfect for that. The next two are gonna be really exciting for me to show you. This is vintage and um, I'm really, really loving it. It's gonna be hard for me to describe the colors on this because I've never seen a crystal color this color. It's orange blue AB, like, like a sun, like the color of a sun mixed with like purple. Anyway, it's gorgeous. It's really, really neat. I don't know if you can tell. It's really shiny and um, I made it into a choker, and like I said, it's vintage. It's really limited. I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough to go around. So if you do like this, I would suggest to email it in because I don't think I'll even have it for very long. I don't have a lot at all. Um, this is it, and it's, I don't know if you can catch the light on there of how sh shiny it is. And I always love when everyone shares about my crystals below in the comments because I can't explain to you how much different they are in person, like how brilliant and crazy they are, amazing looking in person, but they really are. So it's hard to cra grasp the light on this or like the the sparkle. It's really hard, but it's really pretty. Um, let me see if I can put it on. I don't know if you guys can tell, but 
if I was to take this one off. Anyway, I have this one, and then I have this blue one, and they're just little tiny blue crystals. So I layer these together. I would stack these two. Like how gorgeous is that? And if you guys have, I don't know if you can tell, if you guys have any of my other gold chokers, pair them with these, it will just like pop. So pretty. You could even put it with the um, rose gold and gunmetal Orion's belt. It's just very, very unique. And these are both vintage, just so you know. I think this one I probably will be a little more rare. Can you see the blue running through here? It okay from this side, from my side, it looks baby pink blue. And from here, on this side, it looks orange and yellow like a sun. It's freaking, when you guys get this, you're gonna be like, I don't even know what that is. It's so neat and different. Anyway, okay, how long was that on my, I can tell you, like, I can literally do this all day, so I just gotta get, get moving. Anyway, if you guys want any of those chokers, I'm not gonna put the um, Swarovskis, uh, the vintage Swarovskis, these online. I'm going to wait, uh, just take them via email. Um, you can do it. The Orions will be online, um, and these are also going to be via email because I need to get a grasp on if we, if you guys are into them. I already got some orders last night when I introduced them. I introduced them late because I didn't want, um, I was so busy during the day, but this is just freaking amazing. Like, I don't know. I love it. Just this paired with a white t-shirt and a jean jacket, it's just, it looks so effortless and cool. I just think it's really pretty. I hope you guys can see the sparkle on it. First thing I went to my mailbox and I got El Puerto Loco coupons and I just shoved them in um, my bag. Okay, the next thing, um, this. I went to a coffee shop this morning um, in Brentwood. Um, and then they had, they were selling these and I just liked them. I thought they were really cute and nostalgic and I'm gonna, I'm like, I don't, I need another freaking notepad that can need a hole in the head. But I thought it was cool, like, I like it. I don't know, it's cute. Whatever, I, didn't, I really didn't need it. Okay. This is empty now, you guys. Like, this is what I just, okay. Are you guys like me where you're, you start out, your, your purse starts out so organized and nice, and then it just, after the week is done, and you had like a crazy week, it just ends up literally looking like a bomb went off in it. It's, it's insane. Okay, so I'm gonna like clean out my, I'm gonna clean this out with you guys. All right, this is a check that I need to deposit. Um, a receipt from Nordstrom, what did I buy? Oh yeah, okay. Um, and then, yeah, this is my Louis Vuitton little catch-all thing that I love. Okay, then I went, sit down. I went to this little store. I, I don't know why, I've been to this store before, I thought it was cute. They have nice candles. And so I was thinking about getting a candle. I was just there today near my co the coffee shop I went to. Um, okay, I saw this and I thought it was so cute. You guys know I hate like mindless, stupid like decorations like I don't like them I, I think I like vases I like candles I like things I can that are useful I don't have like like I don't have like shit that you buy from like I just always say shit you buy from like Z gallery like a like a figurine but okay I and I don't like I don't like seasonal things either like I don't like I don't know I think it's tacky you guys are like then why the fuck did you get this but I just could not help it you guys know I love like my Blythe doll and I have this weird thing. I have, the only doll I have is like my Blythe doll. And I have my my little pony thing that you guys saw. But I just bought that from like, it's nothing. But oh, anyway, I'm talking too much. I saw this and I really liked it. I don't know why. Okay, here it is. It's this little cat girl thing for Halloween. I'm gonna remove this though. I feel like it's her like trick or treat bag, but I feel like it's way cuter. She looks like so cute without this. I do kind of like her, I think I might just take this off her band, it's like a, I'm not into the orange. So I feel like I could take this off and maybe replace it with like a silver color one and then take this off. And she has like little witch booties on and she's like kind of cute. I, I don't know, I really like her. I, I'll, I'll put her away. I don't have any decorations. Like I don't do decorations. I, I don't know, I do, but I don't. I don't, I have like a few. I have like a silver pumpkin and I'll put her next to that but I'm just not feeling the orange. I feel like I could fix her and she'll be so cute because I can't just leave anything alone. I have to be picky about everything. It's so annoying. 
Okay, and then I hope my mom is not going to watch this video, um, but I am in love with this because I got these for her and I got one for myself too. I'm going to tell you guys the name of these because if you're obsessed like I'm over this, she, this woman deserves the notoriety. Kim Siebert Designer Lifestyle Accessories. Oh, you guys. They are coasters, but I will show you these coasters. Oh my God. They're all hand stitched. I feel like, oh, maybe they're not. They're made in China, so maybe they're not hand stitched, but they look like they are. Dogs, like cute dogs. Look at how nice everything is. Okay, so there's a pug. Oh, they're attached. And there's like a schnauzer, I think it is. And they're pretty because they're gold and they're detailed. Let me show you guys the cutest one. Oh, is it like a little shih tzu? But look at how they're like detailed. Like they're wearing like pretty collars. And then there's a Pomeranian. Oh my God, you guys look cute. Uh, and then there's a big dog. Um, there's like a lab. I love all dogs. And I, there's like a German Shepherd. I love all dogs. Um, I'm not. I do not discriminate against any dog. I love all dogs. I love all animals. <laughs> okay. These are my tax returns from last three years because I went to go see a new accountant today. Because my current one just not. It's, no, I had to find a new one. So we'll see. This guy. I don't know, you guys. It's really hard to find someone who. I can't. I'm whatever. All right. Okay. Next is my. Oh, this is so cute. Hi, June, if you're looking, if you're watching. Okay, I have a really sweet subscriber and customer, June. She's she's Chinese. Um, I guess her hometown is Shanghai. I didn't know that. And she sent me something. Oh, my gosh. Can I show you guys what she sent me? And I have it in here because I picked it up from my post office yesterday. She knows how much I love the Nivea deodorant. Like, And you can't get this in the States. I mean, you can order it online, but they don't sell it in stores. And this is the one I use, Pearl and Beauty. And this one is all in Chinese writing. The one I get is always in like French and, and English writing because um, you can buy these in Australia and England but this one is Chinese so like I don't even want to use it because it's all in Chinese there's not any like, English writing on it. Um, and this is sparkling white but I have to ha ask someone what this is because there's there isn't any I don't know if it's a cream or you guys can tell me my Chinese followers um, what is this? Is this a cream? Is it a body wash? I don't know but okay I'm not like a st I don't stink I'm not a stinky person but I don't like the way deodorants smell that you buy from like CVS. I don't know why. I don't like the I don't like the sticks. They they're sticky, and I don't like the roll-ons. They're also sticky. This is smooth. It's I love it. Like it's kind of expensive, I think, um, online if you live in the states. But I would suggest to buy this. You can get it on Amazon. Okay, next, you guys. Literally, let me show you my purse. Okay, it's a disaster. Okay, next, um, I have my acne sunglasses. I just have them thrown in here. Like these have become become these have been these have become my like shit kicking sunglasses I just throw them on everywhere and I don't even keep them in a case I'm bad about it here's my favorite comb I love this comb so much because um it has a pick and you guys know I like to keep my hair flat right here and I don't know what the bristles do but they're they really flatten out the top of your head and that's all I do and I leave the bottom of a mess and I got it from Sally, I think. I had to scoot up because I didn't feel like I was like up close and personal with you guys enough. Okay, next thing is my Hello Kitty wallet, which yes, I'm still using. I love it. Um, I love the fact that it's different. It makes me happy. I'm, I'm a little bit more organized with it than I would be with like a big wallet. I don't know. Um, just the same thing, like some credit cards, and then my ID, which is expired. I have cash, some cash. So I carry around my passport now because I haven't had time to go to the DMV, and it expired in May. So if I get pulled over, I'm... I talked about this last time. It's just a fix the ticket, right? I don't know. But if I go to a bar and they card me, like they won't take the expired license, so I have to bring my passport with me. All right, next is... A little Chanel wipe and this fell out from my I have like I always steal these from the Chanel counter <laughs> okay um, and then what am I doing all over the place? oh this is my YSL it's just a clear gloss which I like but I feel like it's old and like it kind of looks dirty honestly that's kind of nasty it's like f f filigree it's an, I don't know I don't know do I throw that away I'm not sure how that works okay another <laughs> Chanel thing. Oh, and then this is my, um, I always keep this with me. I always keep jewelry with me, you guys. This is the little pack. I send, um, complicated 
complicated stacks and crystals in this. So every, this is like my packaging. It's really cute. So if you guys know I love zippy stuff. And this is the lasso, the silver lasso. This has been become very, very popular. And this is, I just keep this with me all the time because this is freaking amazing. This is like the best, I'm sorry, <laughs> the best design ever because um, you just throw it on and go and you can put it inside your shirt, outside your shirt. It's long, it's sexy, it's just like, you just feel cool when you wear it. I can't explain it. If you guys know what I mean, then, you, then you'll know what I mean. But it's really beautiful, like luxe chain, and I, I love it. So that's that. I always keep that kind of stuff. I don't know why I have napkins in here. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, um, I have this wet brush. Um, I kind of I like it. I don't know. It's okay. I have um, an Elnet hairspray for when I have wearing buns. Uh, Advil. Okay, my bag hasn't been cleaned out for a couple weeks. This, I don't even know why it's in here. I don't know what this is. Okay. Then I have my favorite Marc Jacobs translucent powder. And I've had this forever. And I told you guys that if you're going to invest in one beauty product, I would say to get this. It's just the, the 100 finish line perfection powder. And you guys are probably tired of, me, tired of me talking about this, but it's literally a facelift. Like, I just do that, and I already look like, like I look like 10 years younger. <laughs> okay, um, next is my white eyeliner, and this is just from Rimmel, and I've just been doing white eyeliner with no mascara on the bottom lately. And this is my favorite wing, actually, wing liner. I don't even have any on right now. I forgot to do that this morning. But um, this is from Dolly Wink, and my friend Jeanette got this for me. I love it. Um, and then this is also from... I have so much... I, I swear, like, I, people don't send me that much stuff, I promise. But I feel like you guys know me so well that the things that you guys send me, I actually use. It's funny. Like, I, I love it. You guys are so... We're, like, best friends, even though we never met. It's crazy. Another sub me sent me this, and I just love it. Like, I, I haven't gotten tired of it at all. It's number 318, Heavenly Berry by L'Oreal. And I'll, I'm not going to put it on because I wanted to show you guys another one, but I like this too. This is good. I want to show you guys what I bought. I bought, um, hopefully it's in here. Oh my god, is it not in here? What is it? What the hell is this? I'm like scared to open. Oh my god. You guys know what this is, and I'm gonna say it. All y'all who love, you guys know what this is if you love cheese. This is the brown bread from Cheesecake Factory, and I always bring them some home for the rabbits. I went last week. This is from last week in my purse. Oh my, see, I told you guys, this is fucking gross. Okay, the rabbits will love that though. I always give them peace. Okay, receipts, receipts. <sighs> Receipt. Oh my gosh, I'm such a pig. Receipts. Oh my god, receipts. I don't even know. Okay, this is crazy. This is like gift day. Another gift from Asabi. Ugh, so cute. I, she wrote me a cute little note. She got me this because she said I like zippies and it has little erasers in it. Ugh, so cute. Okay, um, hair tie. My vlogging camera, which hasn't been used very often lately. This is my La Acetane lip balm, which I like. It's okay. My favorite mascara, the Givenchy. Um, a clip. My Rabbit's po um, Pocket Bunny Sleek Mist, which I like. And I think you can get this at Sephora or Urban Outfitters. I do like it. You guys know my, like, my game for my face is always to keep it sleek and moist. I don't like to be like matte or powdery or dry. I feel like when you're like, you to look younger, it's better to look like dewy, you know what I mean? Okay. Oh, here, I found it. Okay, good. Oh, I like this. I haven't used this in a while. This is the NARS, um, Goddess Soft Touch Shadow Pencil, but I don't use it for that. I use it just like here and like here, and it gives a little bit of a glow. But this is what I bought. I bought this, and it's the Gloss Volume Plumping Lip Gloss. And I saw it in a magazine to Chanel, and I was like, yeah, right, it's just gonna be like a clear. I mean, it is, yeah, right. Okay, don't even buy it, you guys. It's stupid. Like, honestly, I just bought it because it's Chanel, but I'll put it on with you. Like, it's nothing great. It just gives a little bit of a tingle, and I, it's a total gimmick. It's not like anything amazing. But I love it because I kind of needed, I, I really needed a new gloss here, right? I don't know, I just like to waste money. Okay, more Chanel. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, it's a picture of me and Charles from um, like going out one night and more pictures from us. Oh, that is not cute. Oh my god. Look at this one's kind of funny. I think I put this one on my Instagram one. I like it. We're like, <laughs> those are cute. Okay, um, another Chanel. Okay, I'm like literally robbing Chanel of their wipes. All right, uh, this one's good too. Lipstick Queen, which I shared with you guys before in the Free ride. I use this for a little bit of cheek color during the day. This was a free mascara from Chanel, like a free trial one. I just like keep in here too. Change, which I don't have a change thing. Oh, a pen. I was like, what is this from um, when Charles and I stayed? We went to San Diego a couple weeks ago, and I, I apparently took a pen. I don't remember that? Dollar. And then a travel lotion. And then I carry around this Blanche. Um, you guys know I love this. I love this um, Bredo perfume, but such a ripoff. I'm gonna tell you guys this. So I went to get like a travel. I was I went to get another one of these because my last one I ran out. I used the whole thing. And then I thought to myself, I want to get the little. You guys know the the Bredo travel ones come in those little leather. Cases, you know what I mean? You can buy, like I said, a trio of them, and then you can buy, a, it's like a leather filler, it's like a case for each filler. Anyway, stupid. So I was like, the case itself, just for the case, was like $90 or $120, and then three fillers for that case was more expensive than this, and this has more product in it. Ugh. It's so annoying to me. The case is nice, but like, oh my god, no. Like, it's gonna roll around in your bag for a week and they're gonna get, it's gonna get disgusting. Okay, what else do I have? Gift cards like TJ Maxx. Oh, CVS gift. Oh, I forgot to use that. I had a CVS gift card. It wasn't a gift card, it was like an exchange. Shoot. Alright. Change, change. Okay, and then it's this. I went to like Barney's a few weeks ago. Last time when I, last time, I went a long time ago when, uh, when, I, when I posted my vlog when I was having champagne, that's, or what, Rose, that's when I went there. But I went and bought some beauty products and they told me that they loved this. It's three lab, super H serum, super age defying serum. And the guy told me just like during the day, just like put it here to refresh, re, re, to refresh your face. Do you guys like this? I mean, I've tried a couple times. I, I don't really understand it. Maybe I'm using it wrong. Okay, I'm trying to look. Let's just change at the bottom, some receipts. Another piece of jewelry, <laughs> coronation rope. Um, bracelet, which I don't have online, but I'm gonna be putting these online soon in the gold and the silver. Oh my gosh, is that boring? Was that it? Is that boring, you guys? I don't know, it was kind of it though. What else? Okay, that's it. I hope everyone liked this video. It was super random and like real. And I'm sorry if it bored the hell out of you, but I thought it was kind of fun. Yeah, um, okay, so I guess that's it. What about my phone? My phone, I don't even have a case on my phone right now. <sighs> that's so funny. My mom just texted me. She's like, I spent $90 at La Cetane the other day when we went to the mall together. <laughs> and in the mail, she got a coupon saying, if you spend 85 or more, you'll get this huge skincare gift. And she just spent the 90. So she's like all mad. <laughs> that sucks. Um... Yeah. Sorry, I'm just reading comments. Um, I, I put a picture up on my Instagram, so I hope you guys are following me. HRH Collection. Oh, shameless shout out. Anyway, yeah. Oh, another thing. Um, okay, it's funny. I've, I think I've been getting a lot of new followers lately, so maybe you guys, um, my new followers don't really know too much about my line or whatever, but um, um, I've been getting a lot of questions like about people thinking that the, my items are just already like ready to be shipped out. Anyway, I hand make by myself, okay, each piece. So 
Um, like when I'm really super busy, my policy is 10 days, like 10 days to make and ship the, pro the um, order. But I do try to get out smaller orders or orders that aren't as complicated. Um, I try to, do try to get them out faster. But just so you guys know, if you have a more complicated order, um, or if I like run out of a certain item, it will you know take up to the 10 days. But I give myself 10 days, just so you guys know. I got questions, people are like, oh my gosh, I had no idea that you made each piece by hand. And yes, it is made by hand, so just know you're getting handmade pieces. So it's not like, you know, if you buy something from Nordstrom or whatever online, like they can, you know, ship it out in the next day or two. Just um, wanted to let you guys know, because I've been getting a lot of emails, like people not knowing that. And so I was assuming they're, um, they must, must be like new subbies or new customers that didn't know. I thought I would say that, and um, yeah, we're keeping really busy from the braided, uh, the little tattoo bracelet that I was offering. Um, we're keeping really busy from that offer. A lot of you guys took advantage of that, which is really, really cool, because you'll be the first to have that, which is really fun. I like to do things like that for you guys. You guys are my favorite people in the world. Oh, I love you. Okay, um, that's it. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, bye.